Hey everyone, it's Lisa from 2CreatorWebsite.com. This is part two of my CSS tutorial. So if you haven't checked out part one, make sure you watch that. Otherwise, parts of this video may not make sense to you. So in the first video, what we did is we created a very simple layout using nothing but CSS. So you got a very quick and uh, quick and dirty overview of CSS. And I want to say make sure guys that you check out sites like w3schools.com because I am skipping over a lot of things because I am trying to get these videos, you know, within the 10 minute time frame. So I'm having to leave out a lot of fundamentals. So um, I'm, I'm really just trying to give you, give you an overview of what CSS can do in these videos and show you some of the options. But if you really want to learn about the attributes and the fundamentals and the proper syntax, you really should study up on w3schools.com because I realize I'm going very fast and I'm skipping over a lot of things that you can learn. But I just want to give you a basic understanding of how CSS works. Okay, so in this video we're gonna we're gonna talk about styling your links and your text within the various sections of your site and I'm not gonna go through every section I'm just gonna use the header as an example and then you can apply this advice to all the different sections of your site okay so in the last video we gave our header a style and here it is here the width the background the border now how do you style your links and your paragraphs inside the sections of your site? Well, with links, what you do is you just repeat the name of the ID again, so pound header, and then you add an A, so space A, and that tells the browser, okay, this is the style for the links. So as you can see, my links are styled with a white color, the text decoration is underlined, the font weight is bold, and the family is Verdana, and the size is 14 pixels. Uh, the visited links, so, so links that have already been visited will turn black, they'll be underlined, and they'll be bold. And the hover, when you hover over the links, they'll be red, there'll be no underline, and they'll be bold. So when you go to the site, well actually let's go to our index.html page and let's create a link inside the header. So make sure you're inside the div ID header before you create it. So go ahead and create a link like I did, just, like I did here. Save it, and let's preview it and as you can see this is the link and see it's it's got the hover attribute remember I said I made it red and the underline disappears just like that and it's appearing in the top left corner of the screen because I didn't give it any positioning or any coordinates so unlike these links here as you notice they're appearing in the center of the header near the bottom how did I do that well I did that using positioning with CSS I created a class just for these links so let's talk about creating classes a class is a little bit different than an ID or a section because you can use these classes over and over again so if you want to create horizontal links in your footer you can use the same class over and over again so this is what I named the class it's called Horiz links which stands for horizontal links and notice the class starts with a period classes or styles they always start with periods with CSS okay and I gave this style a position that's how it knew to display itself in the middle of the header I told these links to display absolutely 77 pixels from the top and 180 pixels from the left so as you can see this is a hundred this is 77 pixels from the top and 180 pixels from the left that's why they're in the middle of the header like that now when you position something absolutely like this you have to make sure that the container that it's sitting in and in this case it's the header has a position of relative so I had to come back up to my header and add this line here this position relative I had to do that if I did not add this here the absolute positioning would not have worked because you're telling the browser to absolutely display these links in the header which is relatively positioned from the top left corner of the screen. You got that? So you always, anytime you position something absolutely, you have to make sure it's inside of something that is positioned relatively. Okay? Now, how did I make these links go horizontally? Well, when you create horizontal links in CSS, it's really a good idea to just use the bullet tag or the list item tag. So if you're familiar with CSS or HTML, you know that the bullet tag is created with the UL and the LI tag. So 
if you come in and open up your index.html page you'll see here that here are those links inside the bullet tag see the list item and then there's a link one link two link three link four and notice these links are surrounded by div class equals horiz links remember that's the name of the class remember that's what I called it here so I surrounded these bullet links here by this div class because I want these links to have the style that I gave it here okay so I had to style each element of the UL and the LI tag so as you can see here's the UL tag I gave it a margin of zero I didn't want it to have any margin because I've already positioned it 77 pixels so I'm, I'm cool on the positioning I didn't need any margin in this case the LI tag now remember each link is an LI so I had to style the LI so here's the style for it the margin now anytime you see four coordinates like this for a margin the first number is always the top the second number is always the right margin the third is always the bottom and the left and the yeah and the fourth one is always the left margin so it's top right bottom left it's like clockwise so this eight pixel right margin that's the spacing between each link so if I wanted to increase the spacing between each link I would bump this up to a higher number so let's make it 15 and we're gonna refresh and notice how the links just spread out so that's what that margin number is for with the LI tag the list style type none this is important because if I if I had not had that line there list style none I would have bullets located between each link because remember I'm using the bullet tag and I didn't want bullets to show up so I said list style type none display inline is another important another important attribute for this because this tells the links to display horizontally if I did not have display inline then the links would have appeared one after another like one on top of each other so it's very important to say display inline so your links will appear horizontally so that's how I created these links so you can apply the same style to any section of the site. Say I wanted to do horizontal links in my footer. I would just open up my, my index page, go down here to the footer section, and type div class equals horiz links, and then put the links there, and then these links will appear horizontally in the footer. It's just another class. That's the beauty of classes. You can use them in all sections of your site. Okay? Now, what about basic text inside of your header? How do you style like your paragraph text? You do this. You create this pound header P. The P stands for paragraph. Just like your links, you give it a style. Color, black, font family, Arial, font weight, bold. This just styled the text for your header. So you come to your index page and let's go, let's type this right below our, um, our header links. We're just going to type P header text and save it and hit refresh and there's the header text and it has the style that I gave it in the style sheet the black color the aerial font and the bold and the reason it appeared right below the link is because I didn't tell it to go anywhere else this link and this basic text in my style sheet or in my page and style sheet they don't have a coordinate like the horizontal links do they're just in the page and there's no positioning coordinates in the style sheet so that's why they just appear one right after the other okay so I hope you're getting to see that CSS is really just about positioning and styles you choose your blocks of text your header your footer your left nav you give it a position and you give each you know um, the text and the links a style so you can apply this tutorial to your left nav your footer your right nav you can style the links and the text for all the sections of your site using this example that I just showed you with the header so that's all for this uh, section of the tutorial in part three I'm gonna talk about doing horizontal links underneath your he header because I've been getting a lot of questions about how do I do a horizontal navigation I said links I meant to say navigation so stay tuned for part three where we'll learn how to do a horizontal nav see you then bye bye